Hello friends, welcome to Park's World where we decorate every space with joy. My name is Parker. Today we are in my dining room and so there are two parts to this video. The first part I am going to show you how I decorate the two shelves right here. My left and my right. And then I will also show you how I just set up my dining table. Um, this space is used constantly, every day, all the time, all day. Um, so, and I, this is my only dining room. So I don't really set it up like um, with um, plates and place settings and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna give you a little tour of my little dining area um, so you will see how I refresh my space. So let's decorate. So um, as you can see, I do have a microwave right there in the middle um, of those two shelves. And that's because uh, when my kitchen was renovated, um, they took out so many cabinets um, space because they had to break down two walls and there was no room for the microwave so it ended up being there I didn't like it at first but <clears throat> we've gotten so used to it that it doesn't bother me anymore has anyone have that issue before where your microwave is in your I need area I don't know leave me a comment below and tell me all about it because it is really strange to me but we're used to it and it doesn't really look that bad anyways and also I don't know about what I think I love decorating these shelves but Sometimes I also want to remove them and get like um, a china cabinet so that I can actually store my good uh, place settings and um, good cutleries and china wares and things like that. And also a place where I can house my napkins and um, table runners uh, and 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 things like that so it, it sometimes as much as it looks nice when I decorate it and I love seeing it I love the space um, I don't think it's as functional as it should be and so drop me a comment and let me know what you think should I leave it just like this and just decorate it, which I do for fun, or maybe get actual china cabinets on both sides um, and make it more useful and be able to have more storage. Storage is my biggest thing for this home. I do not have storage at all. I do not have storage at all. If you notice, I don't have pantry. So those two um, cabinets by the shelves with the with the doors are my uh, my pantry and very small. So I ended up actually having to uh, you update my um, coat closet and turn that into a pantry, which. I will take you on to see how I um, I organized my pantry, but that's the story for that.
by the way, guys, if you have any ideas or um, anything that you would like me to uh, show on my channel to inspire you or something that you want some ideas on, by all means, please put it in the comments below and we will see how we can make that happen. Thank you. And oh, a story on the on that um, wood knotted chain that I just put on that um, coffee book um, storage there. It came plain, and the gold ribbon around it I put it on there. It really enhanced it, and I think it it just took it to a different level and made it more gorgeous. So that's, a, that's food for thought. If you have something that is very plain, just by that little touch of gold, just enhance it. So this is uh, the completion of these two um, shelves, um, very simple, um, I really don't like to crowd my space a lot. I did a lot of research on trying to get new dining chairs. Um, for this um, Z Gallery table that I scored on Facebook Market. Um, this is like the third set of chairs that we are having. It, it came with chairs originally when I bought it off Facebook Market. The chairs were no good. It lasted literally, I, I don't know, maybe months and we had to get rid of them. And then I got these other chairs that I already had for a few years. Um, it, it, it was it kind of fit perfect as far as sitting is concerned, but the chairs did not match the table at all. It did not do it justice. Um, so we, I, I did a lot of research and I finally um, landed on these chairs that you're seeing now and um, they came in a set of two in a box or are sold as a pair and I got a very good deal and I got it off of um, Amazon actually they also have it on uh, Wayfair but it's more expensive on Wayfair for the same brand so it came well packaged um, uh, as you can see, the the legs were stored inside underneath the the chair um, very nicely, and so I took it out and um, I sc screwed it on, and it was very easy to put together, and there you have it.
Oh my, isn't this a beauty? Check this out. I love the velvet color, um, material. It is super, super soft. It is beautiful. I love the ring in the back. It's very sturdy. It's very strong. It's very comfortable. I'm a very short person, so when I sit on this chair, oh boy, I actually can reach. My legs don't hang. My legs can touch the floor, and I can be comfortable. One thing I did with these chairs were, was that I sprayed um, scotch guard on them. And when I tell you scotch guard is amazing, trust me it's amazing every time you get furniture please scotch guard it in the evenings i just take a damp cloth of microfiber cloth and i just wipe it down and it just feels good like any stain little dish soap and damp cloth and it's magic I got three sets uh, because my table is very long. Uh, it really fills up the space. But if I were to put a chair on both head tables, um, it would be hard to go around uh, to get to the microwave. Uh, and so once again, to avoid uh, crowdiness, if you know, to avoid crowdiness, I decided that we will not put tables on both ends. Um, I have an island, so it seats about four, three to four people. Um, it's an open floor plan. The family room is right around the corner. So when we are entertaining or when we have family, um, it's perfect. We, we are able to see each other, talk, and have a great discussion, and it doesn't feel like we are so far apart, even though we are not all sitting at the table. I mean, come on, I have six kids, two grandbabies, um, in-laws, so we definitely won't fit on this table, even if we had eight chairs, so... And this concludes the setup and refresh of my dining room space. I really hope this inspires you to do the same. Underneath my microwave, you will see that I have another small tiny space and I use this for my coffee station. So I definitely will have a separate video and show you how you can also decorate a very small space as a coffee station so you can enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining me if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel, especially if you like videos like this. Click on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please like it. Leave me a comment below. For my ride and die subscribers, I really do appreciate you for sticking in with me. And I know that you will remain. Stay blessed.